Well, we've got another old deck uh, involving blue eyes from the Pojo forums. Though, I uh, mean, I was so inspired to try and see if there's any old decks for blue eyes from 2006 because, you know, McDonald's is doing some Yu Gi Oh! Hello Kitty toys. For someone that looks even halfway decent, is the blue eyes one, oddly enough. So, yes, this is a deck all about bringing out, you know, blue eyes white dragon. Or, uh, the paladin, you know, that also somewhat works for us. Because it basically acts like Drillerite, so it's great. Though I'll admit this opening hand is not the best. I mean, we got Spirit Reaper to buy time at least. I don't want to know him in my own car, that'd be stupid. Come on, game. Whatever. I suppose removing it from the game would make some sense. Just because, you know, Shariro can bring it back. But, I'm not super worried about that right now. Ugh, I don't have any good options here. Um... Okay, let's take you out, I guess. Come on. <sighs> Try and clear the field and I get punished for it. Of course. Well, we could use... Nothing. Like, Dust Rider let me blow up their other back rope. I have no idea what it is. Rhino could be summoning flute, which would make blowing it up pointless. Oh, I can smash crowd, dude. Like, come on, I really just want to draw, you know, either the Paladin or the Ritual card. Either or, I'd be good to go, you know? Come on. Air Force, I guess I'll set it. Oh yeah, I could have known and have crossed out that one card. Oh, there's a second card, great. Building defenses for a big summon, I guess, maybe? Ah, just a giant soldier of stone. Gosh darn it. We're kind of stalled out at the moment, aren't we? I hate when you're in a situation where you need the top deck. It's the worst. Well, I ain't using that up. Who knows, maybe I'll get creative. So, it's not like it has piercing. Uh, Kyra's not gonna help here. Not unless I draw blue eyes. Then I can use it to activate my uh, burst stream of destruction. Come on, can I just. There we go. At least we drew up blue eyes finally. Summon our good friend here. Let's activate its effect. Okay, can I activate another card in response? Well, at least it didn't trap hole it. But yeah, time for a burst stream. Well, there's not many cards, so good luck with that. Okay, now I'll at least give us some stuff to work with. No, my luck, he's got some other nasty cards set for us, though. This might be a bad play. Well, I really don't want to wait three turns. Okay. Now 
we still have options here. If only this would let me summon it from the deck. So much better. Um, battle phase. Okay, gonna use Flute of Summoning Dragon. To summon another Karibo. Well, now I can make him discard. Which means I can do full damage with this attack. Sweet. Now I'll let the opponent top deck. And apparently it was garbage, because it wasn't even worth playing. Okay, let's activate another Manju. And add the Paladin to our hand. Now let's activate our Ritual card. Tribute that bad boy, and... Bring out our Paladin of the White Dragon. No, I don't want to sacrifice it to special summon of Blue Eyes. One, I wouldn't be able to attack with it this turn. Oh yeah, I should have attacked with this first. Just to make uh, Karibo discard the card. In case it was another Karibo. Oh, it was a Blue Eyes. No wonder it didn't do anything with it. But yeah, I do feel like this is the more reliable of the two decks between the dragons. Though I'll admit, this deck kind of uh, bricked uh, this time around. So it definitely isn't always guaranteed to go off hard. It can, you know, find itself in a bad spot if it doesn't draw certain pieces of the, the puzzle early on. Like, I would have preferred having uh, Manju, obviously, in one part of the ritual setup. That way I could have gotten out, you know, Paladin of White Dragon and started popping uh, face-down defense mode monsters. Or could have offered it up to bring out, you know, a Blue Eyes and gone for the Burst Stream of Destruction if I needed to um, later on. But, you know, it, it is what it is, you know. You work with the cards you get, you know, from Lady Fate and just trying to do the best you can. But I still feel like this deck has better defenses, you know, in case things start to turn against you than the other deck does. And it's not as reliant on, you know, fusion monsters, obviously. Till next time, then. See ya.